How do we increase our relationship with the Holy Qur'an? As the month of Ramadan is upon us soon, we always look at opportunities to increase our relationship with the Qur'an in an efficient manner. Now, many often times people end up attempting or making the intention to recite the entire Qur'an within the 30 holy days. Now, this is a good initiative, but there are a few steps we have to take in mind. In the case that we haven't spent the rest of the year reciting the Qur'an and putting as much as effort, this can be an impossible task. Because, think of it, someone who trains in the Olympics, they don't get ready before the Olympics a month before or two months before. They spend basically their entire lives, the four years before the Olympics, every day and moment that they have practicing for this race. And when we take the time to recite the Qur'an during the month of Ramadan, when we haven't placed the emphasis or practice, let's say spending half an hour during the day, half an hour during the week, it can be an impossible task. And what often happens is we get burnt out. And I speak this to myself first because I have often achieved the same result where I end up starting on a good roll, good note, and then let's say the 22nd day, 23rd day, it's no longer the same. Now, what I end up doing is, and maybe this could be a good uh, idea for you guys, is that let's take one chapter of the Holy Quran and use that as a way to reflect upon it, as a way to embrace it instead of the all passages from the Holy Quran. The way I do this, I take a chapter, perhaps it's short enough where I can memorize it even better, and this chapter becomes my best friend during these 30 days. Now, I take a verse, let's say if it's... Uh, However, however many verses it is, divided by the 30 days or 29 days, so you could spend maybe three verses a day where you take the time to understand the definition of these verses, look at the tafsir of what these verses say, and make a note as to what these verses really mean, and they literally become your best friend, where, for example, in the morning you spend some time with it, in the afternoon, and as well as the evening, because in my opinion, this can have a much more uh, impact on our, so on our souls, on ourselves, because we're really taking the time to understand what these verses mean compared to spending 30 days reciting the entire Qur'an and maybe not spending as much as time to do tafakkur and tadabbur of the Qur'an. And while it's a great achievement we, to recite the Qur'an as much as we can during this time, it's also important to take the time to understand what the Qur'an is telling us so another thing, I, I have this assignment where I spend, let's say in the past I have done Surah Hujarat. It's a short surah, but there's so many akhlaqi moral lessons one could derive from this chapter. And at the same time, I'll go to the center at night where they recite the Quran, spend some time and recite two or three pages and get the barakah and get the blessings from that deed. But again, it's not simply about collecting as much as deeds we can as during this time, but rather making sure that when the month of Ramadan is over with, there's lessons we have learned and there's something we can go and reference back where, let's say, a few months pass after Shah Ramadan, we could remember, oh, I spent time learning this chapter and all the lessons which I wrote down, all the things which were important to me, it's become a placeholder in my life where I can successfully say this chapter has shaped the way I live my life or has taught me something new so when the situation comes up, I can remember what the verse says and it has a great impact on my life.